what's up guys today I'm gonna to show you how I'm gonna make my ital soup no me just find everything in the fridge because remember we are being very resourceful with what we have at home in the refrigerator all right so we have some yellow yam here um, we have I found Irish some carrots some um, okra sweet potato pumpkin we're gonna add some plantain to it as well, some celery because we now add no salt. So the celery I think is gonna bring up the taste of the ital soup. Some garlic, scotch bonnet, pepper, ginger. For the protein, we have black eyed peas. I found um cilantro and some pak choy. I don't have any. If you have uh kalaloo, you can use it as well. This is what I have, so I'm gonna use it. Alright. So remember, guys. Um, to give this video a thumbs up, comment, like the video, share our video, subscribe to the channel guys. I really do appreciate each and every one of you. Remember, no soupy soup without some dumplings, right? So we're going to use some wheat flour to make some um, dumplings. If you have spelt flour, go right ahead and use it. Um, yeah man, so make we get started. Alright, so guys, what I did to save on time, I'd recommend that you know you freeze your beans, you cook them and freeze them. So what I'm going to do now is just add it to the, the pot. And that's two cups of um, black eyed peas and we're go going we're going in now with some um, thyme and scotch bonnet pepper all right so we're gonna start by cleaning up the, the vegetables right all of these we're gonna peel them and add them to the pot guys whatever vegetables you have man just use them up use up all of them breadfruit any other any vegetable you have man use it up be resourceful all right and everything try try not to run to the shop to buy everything for the pumpkin all right what i did i'm going to use the skin all right normally i peel it off but we not have to peel it off this evening And remember soup is a one pot meal which means all the nutrients of the food cook out in there so you can feed it to your family and you know say it's very filling and everybody have a nice healthy dinner whatever is left over you can use it up the next day them to some water because I do like to give them a quick rinse even though I wash them before I start using them this rinse is just to remove the excessive dirt Guys, you must know by now when I'm cooking, I don't go without ginger and garlic. So these are all the stuff that we're going to add to the pot in the first segment. All right, so we know the garlic affi in there. I mean, you could have just put them in there just like that, but you know me already. I love when things cook out like these are good things. But some people don't like to taste them. All right. All right, we're going to add the food now to the pot. You can see how the peas look in the pot. Nice. All right. So we could just add the um, the vegetables and the food.
and with ginger, garlic and scallion with the carrots give this a quick little stir I'm gonna go in now with two more cups of water because this is gonna need more water right so initially I'd add five cups of water so I'm gonna go in now with more all right we're gonna knead the dumplings just a little bit more water just to bring those extra dry piece together and us Caribbean people most time you see us making soup is on Saturday that is the traditional way but we're not going to make no soup on no Saturday guys anytime you feel like drinking soup you make it it's affordable everybody gets some everybody belly full and it's healthy all right so what i did was to just roll it and just flat it out like that let me say i'm not the biggest in um molding dumplings so just make it anyway just roll it in your hand and just press them in the middle are we good to go we're also going to go in with some spinners just to make the food stretch guys we are gonna do all kind of shape dumplings just to stretch it so everybody can get dumpling in their plate and guys remember all the ingredients is gonna list it at the description box um quite a few persons keep asking me how i don't um write my ingredients i do write ingredients for every single video that we have here on youtube um just click that little arrow and it just drop down the description box you can just read the ingredients in there for same goes for my big um products everything that i bake the ingredients is there and the time that i bake the stuff at I remember when I was living in a country and like my cousins and myself would normally run boats in at the night. I don't know if nobody used to do that, but we used to do it. Like we used to cook all soup and thing. Of course, we weren't allowed to, but we'd just always hide and do it. This just brings back a lot of memories, guys. Because growing up in a country, we never have no money to buy chicken sometime, right? Because now we're never vegan. And so we just usually just make vegetable soup and just eat and go to bed. I mean, even though we'd have dinner in the evening, you know. But for some strange reason, we just always cook at night time. And that used to just be so nice, man. Alright, so what we're going to do now is to just cover this and make everything just come together. We're going to add the pak choy last. Alright, the pot still a bubble, so we're going to go in with the... Um, Planting. We want the pot to reduce from all the way down and every most of this stuff cook out and thing. Cook out the flavors. Alright, so we are gonna just slice the planting and put it in there. We're also going to go in now with the celery.
all right guys we're almost done so we're just gonna now um, add the pak choy to it and just wait on that to cook out and then we all good see one big pot of ital soup there you have it guys my nice big pot of ital soup thank you so much for watching this video guys until next time bye